kinky. Might be too late. My teeth have not stopped shining bright since I started using my Burst Pro Sonic toothbrush. With a built-in smart timer and five custom modes, you're guaranteed the perfect smile after you. If your teeth are sensitive like mine, not only do they have a sensitive mold, but the bristles are super soft and pain-free. When I tell you this is the smartest toothbrush I've ever used, I mean it. There are even pressure sensors built in which adjust the brush's vibration speed in case you happen to be brushing too soft or too hard. My absolute favorite feature is the custom grade you receive at the end of brushing that tells you how well you did. Take your clean on the go with Burst Curve Sonic Toothbrush which comes with a matching cap and fits perfectly in your bag. Its curved design helps reach every crook and cranny in your mouth. Pop it all off with a precision whitening pen made with natural ingredients such as coconut and aloe. This bundle will be keeping my teeth pretty and healthy all 2024. Today is Sunday, February 11th. Valentine's Day is in a few days and we preparing for it, okay? We preparing for it. I'm doing the Galentine's on Valentine's Day. In the morning time, I'm gonna go to brunch with Quinn. And then in the evening time, after I get out of lab, we're gonna have a Galentine's little night with Maya and Lonnie. I got us some matching pajamas. It was so last minute. I had checked online on Target and Walmart for some pajamas and y'all, they was all gone. Literally, everything was gone. So I happened to go on Fashion Nova. You know, Fashion Nova could do one day shipping. So I went on there and got us some pajamas. They are so free cute i'm actually about to head out now to pop show to get us the little heart ears i don't know if y'all know but you'll see when we go i'm actually about to head out right now but i just want to show y'all our pajamas real quick because they are just too freaking cute like look at that quinn and i did a little shopping yesterday so i'm gonna show y'all what we got it was actually supposed to be included in my nursing diaries episode 2 vlog but i brought my camera with me and left my sd card at home because i was editing that vlog so i didn't get to vlog us going to the mall but it's okay so i got this candle from bath and body works it just smells like laundry like it smells like fresh laundry i really have been leaning more so towards the fresh and clean scents lately like i don't know that's just what i've been into and i got another one that's actually burning right now this one is called gwen's no it smells really fresh as well it's not like laundry but it just has like a nice scent to it we got charms from pandora oh my goodness they're so freaking cute we actually got matching ones so we both got two and then we got one to match each other for valentine's day and then we both got like a separate one that we wanted for ourselves so i'm gonna open that up and show y'all that She's cute. She's cute. I love Pandora packaging because y'all know I miss pink. Like, everything got to be pink. Got the little stethoscope charm. Like, it's literally only right. That is just too cute. I can't wait to add it to my bracelet. And this next one is the one that we got to match each other, which is Valentine's Day inspired. It's just the word love, and then it has the O and a heart. I'm actually about to run out now to Pop Shelf because it's supposed to rain today, and I want to go out and get back home before it starts raining. Um, That was really the only thing that I had to get. Hopefully, they have them. When I looked online, it said they had them in stock, so hopefully, they have three of them in stock. But I feel like I have been real consistent lately. Like, this is my second week in a row vlogging, so I vlogged last week, and then I'm going to vlog this week. It's like nursing school diaries, but life as well. I feel like my nursing school diaries would be boring if I only included, like, school, 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 school. I have a life with school you know and I feel like it's important to show the balance between the two because I feel like a lot of people feel like they can't have a life with nursing school I feel like you absolutely can it's just a matter of balance it's a matter of delegating your time and just being smart with it you know I mean don't be trying to go out every single week but I'm not gonna say drown yourself in books to where you just don't ever see your friends again you know we have a fun week ahead of us we are also preparing for our first holistic test so we had our patho and health assessment test last week holistic test is going to be next Monday on the 9th so today is 11 holistic test is on 19 i'm about to head on out now i'm gonna see y'all when we get to pop shelf so far i don't see them but could have been looking in the wrong place they have like a valentine section but i seen like the little headbands i didn't like those i'm looking for the bigger ones so maybe it's just like in a different section i'm gonna be so sad because i don't want the ones that i saw the ones that i saw look a mess truly maybe i need to go back to the valentine section and look one more good time so that was a film i was just so sure they was gonna have it like because online said it like on google it said that they had it in stock so i don't know yeah i'm about to look online again to see who actually has it in stock but cardi city said they got them but i don't like the way these look i don't like the fur on it i just want the hearts i don't want the fur and all the extraness so did she just hit my car she just hit my car with her door like girl you do not need all that space to get out the doggone car 
that was doing too much anyways i know who weirdly might have them and this is what i thought of the first time dollar tree y'all know dollar tree be having all like the festive stuff i might end up going there and if they don't have it it's a walmart right next door to dollar tree and that's gonna be my last resort if i don't see it in dollar tree or walmart then baby that's it because they literally said that pop shelf had them and they don't freaking have them and neither one of them have it then we just gonna have to go without the headbands even though i feel like it would have been such a cute freaking addition i can't like it's it's really crunch time um, all the pajamas were sold out so i wouldn't be surprised but fingers crossed we're gonna see i'm about to head to dollar tree right now can i get a vanilla cake cone with sprinkles please just one no that's all okay thank you you too thank you I had no luck with the headbands and i'm like i didn't come outside for nothing because usually on sundays maybe sundays i stay in the house from sun up to sundown so for me to actually come out on a sunday and not even get what i was coming out for i'm just gonna get a little treat and call it a day lonnie actually found this link on amazon so i can order some off of amazon and we're just gonna do that so we're still gonna have the headbands um let me show y'all yeah these are the ones from amazon i'm gonna go ahead and order those they'll be here on tuesday with the pajamas so Woo! That was really it for today. I'm just about to go home, relax, get my mind together for classes tomorrow. So that's when I will see y'all. Let you go, what I let you know. Stop the confusion. It's only you on my mind. And I need you to stop the accusations. Girl, how many times? Girl, how many times? Yeah, baby, it's only you. Yeah, baby, it's only you. Believe me, baby. Now you're gonna get my love. Good morning, guys. I am in such a good and just vibrant mood right now because, baby, I got eight hours of sleep last night and did. Okay, I'm finna go because y'all ain't finna sit here. But yes, I'm about to find parking right now. We're about to go to my 8 a.m. I got eight hours of sleep last night. I woke up at 6.30. I have plenty of time to get myself together. I didn't have to rush. I took my time. That is the move. So that means I need to be in the bed no later than 10 and fall asleep no later than 10.30 if I want to feel like this on monday mornings okay because y'all know monday be a drag it is 7 53 i'm about to head on in here we have orientation for ati this morning oh i think i don't know i've heard people talk about ati but i really don't know exactly what it is i know that's kind of like what we took our t's on so i don't know if it's like a practice question database or something i don't know but that's what the orientation is for so i'm gonna see y'all when we get in there we gonna have a good day. We gonna have a real good day today. It's 9:32. Just finished our ATI orientation, so we got into the little database and we saw all our assignments and what we're supposed to do. We got like proctor tests to take, and then we have an assignment actually due this Friday. On top of our studying, we have to do for the test that is on Monday. It's a lot, but we are gonna get it done per usual. We look at my planner because I have not been looking at my planner, and then she was just like, "Oh yeah, we gotta do our little pretest for Patho." I was like, "Ooh, forgot all about that." So we about to look at this planner what's today it's a 12th oh yeah chapter 26 oh we got a docu care tomorrow we get that done in class i got a docu care today oh you got one today tomorrow we gotta do review and docu care docu care is basically our charting from health assessment so we assess our partner and stuff we go in there and we document everything and we put what we found and then wednesday we have our intramuscular injection checkoffs y'all saw me practicing on the last one that's what we have checkoffs for it we're going to learn how to put in a catheter I'm excited for that. I'm excited and nervous. Friday is when we got our first ATI assignment due. And then on Sunday, we got our health assessment module 6.3 due. That's like a pre-module. That's like the module you do before class comes. So we're going to do our prep you. Oh my gosh, that's a mastery of eight. <laughs> that's a lot. I just realized that. I knew we had pre-lecture, but that mastery be taking me out. But we're going to get together after class today. You got it, 545? Okay, that's fine. We're going to study for holistic. All right, y'all. We're on a break right now. Now, so I just get my little thing together. We're about to start lecture. What are we doing lecture all over? Let me see what the PowerPoint say. The nursing process. A cute little Dollar Tree pen. She gives. All right, I don't have nothing to talk about. I'm just here. I'll see y'all when we start lecture. They don't want to say hey. Period. <laughs> I was gonna show y'all something too. Oh, I'm gonna show y'all the care plan. We gotta have. We're going over care plan today too. So we're gonna use like the little nurse's pocket guy. I got it pulled up here. We're gonna use that to do. They were talking about go buy that book. I'm not buying no more books. Okay. I'm sick of buying books. I don't want to even hear the words buy books no more. As expensive as some books was when we had to start, they can't ask me for nothing else. This is. 
the little care plan. So it got, what is on there? Assessment, planning, rationale, evaluation, diagnosis. And I think we're going to do some case studies too. So I guess the case study is going to be like to try to guide this. I don't know if it's going to be like an assignment or if it's just going to be like just something we do in class or it's just used for practice. I don't know. But we're going to see. I think we're going to start lecture at around 10. It's 948. Good assessment down in good history. It's going to be really hard to go on and do the care plan. So we really need to do the whole assessment. And I'll show you the form. Something the patient tells you, right? I can't assess what their level of pain is. 50 cc's an hour. She doesn't really want to talk. Training clean. This is what you guys will do next. You got to come up with a nursing diagnosis when you're in clinical. Because you will do two care plans in clinical. She is getting IV. But is that to help with pain? I think that's just regular um, saline, regular. So maybe I feel like the doctor should prescribe her some pain medicine. She has not yet. She moans. She tries to cough in deep breath. Okay, so I feel like number one, her NG tube with the green liquid, that don't sound right. Yeah, she pale. That means she not getting no blood. Kind of when she tries to move. Surgery. Um, anybody come up with a Shows us what we need to bring to class. So we need our stethoscope and then we need our little. Ooh, forgive me for not remembering the name of this. I mean, it's a hammer, but it's a specific name for it. We're doing a respiratory assessment. We have to auscultate the lungs with our stethoscope and then percuss the lungs with the hammer. And then on Wednesday, I told y'all we're getting checked off on our intramuscular injections. So I'm going to bring my injection supplies so we can go to the skills lab um, after classes tomorrow. I just got my injection pads and my little skin pad and then my needles and my vials and my ampules. I'm about to go ahead and put this stuff in my book bag but I just wanted to come talk to y'all because I haven't really talked to y'all today. Mondays are really usually kind of busy for me or busier for me. That's it for today. I'm about to go ahead and put this stuff in my book bag, take a shower, eat, relax on wine and get ready to wake up in the morning again for health assessment labs. Good night and I'm going to see y'all in the morning. Can't wait to eat. Can I have breakfast? No. Me <laughs> I'm nice and hungry after this. Do I just look at the bottom outfit yet? Yeah. Right. I guess you're oh, looking yeah, for like straight into yeah, yeah, symmetry. Really good posture. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Inspect the anterior lateral and posterior thorax for shape, symmetry, and abnormalities. Can you see? Oh. Yeah. Okay. And then if you want to say 99. 
idea because you're having to breathe faster to get that oxygen level up. Yes, yes, you might see some of that JVD, that jugular venous distension. You might see even ascites. You might see flared nostrils. You might see that uh, supraclavicular uh, tugging. If you have a problem with the mitral valve or with the aortic valve, that's going to look like left-sided heart failure. That's fusing across when you've got more fluid in the lungs. So hypertension with heart failure is another big thing that will bring this on. Um, so it is an indicator for systolic dysfunction. So with S3 sounds, you've got this passive filling of the ventricles. Early diastole, when those valves open, blood's coming into the heart, it actually makes a vibration that you can hear, that S3 sound. His past medical history includes diabetes, type 2, hyperlipidemia, peripheral arterial disease, 60 over 94, respiratory rate is 22, temp is 97.4 or exactly, yeah, so it's 33%, yeah. So part of his, like if you look back at his vital signs, what do you think? Hey guys and happy Valentine's Day. I know I didn't really talk to y'all yesterday because I was just really not in the mood. I did not feel good at all. I literally didn't study or anything. I went to my classes and went home and went to bed. I feel okay today. I feel really good today. So I'm actually about to head to Publix and get these flowers. Me and Quinn are getting each other flowers and then we're going to meet up for brunch before our lab class at 2. Yeah, it's going to be a good day and then you know I'm doing um Valentine's tonight with Maya and Alani with our matching PJs and food and just good vibes everything everything so I think today is gonna be a really really good Valentine's Day once we get past this lab because I have a skills check off today and then we're learning the catheter skill today too so that's gonna be our last skill can y'all believe that and we're learning our last skill today it's crazy we're gonna get tested on that next week and then we start clinicals the week after that which is so freaking crazy but I'm excited to go to clinicals I don't know about y'all but I'm excited to go to clinicals I kind of need gas worst case scenario I can grab gas on the way back from brunch because I'm just trying not to be that late to brunch I'm about to go to Publix right now we're gonna pick out these flowers and yeah I'm gonna see how we get there going around on TikTok by Bryson. It's like, I'm gonna take a Muji to Rodeo and gonna get her whatever she want. He dropped that song. So we finna listen to it. We finna listen to it and we finna act like we know the words even though I don't even know the words. I only know that specific part, but you know. He need to drop an album. Whatever she want. Talking about a I'm feeling nail ass. Like I'm sick of I'm made up what From brunch. She on a power trip again. I know pussy power. When I be driving, I feel like everybody just be looking at me in my business and I don't care. or bacon. I might get that because I like strawberries. But the banana french toast sound real good too. I think I might tell them to add, banana, add um, strawberries to my banana french toast. That'll be good. Yeah. We're going to do that. I wonder if I can do like a like breakfast that got the eggs. With, yes. Sides. brunch baby i am stuffed to the brim i got my flowers i'm gonna go home and put them in a vase right now they're so cute and it says my life is better with you oh mm, they smell good so cute y'all know i love me some pink down like any type of pink all the shades of pink i love it so i'm about to go ahead and get these in a vase so they can stay nice and pretty. It's 11.07 right now. So I'm about to just go home. Get myself together for freaking class. Oh my gosh. We're going to be in class from 2 to 6.45. Like I just had that big meal. Do you think I want to go to a 4 hour class right now? No. Hopefully they'll be nice and let us out early. And then I'll probably see y'all in lab. Head looking big child. Hold on let me put this. Cause I'm head looking. <laughs> 
little bit. Okay, y'all, so we are in Skills Lab. We just learned how to do an indwelling catheter and a straight catheter. I'm about to do it and see if I know what I'm doing. But usually when we do it, like, in lab class, after she teaches, I be a little confused because it's like, first of all, I just got tested on my other skills. So that was on my, I'm going to have to use my nose, basically. But once I use my nose at least one time, get the motion of it, I can go ahead and do it without my nose. So. All right, pull those apart. Okay, I'm going to palpate. She said we were going to have to do this one. I should probably have gloves on no. doing this. Hold on. Okay. Right, y'all. I should have put gloves on first. But when you touching a patient, but you know it's a mannequin. It's a mannequin. So it's just like I don't always be like putting gloves on because it's fake. But if I was in a real patient role, I would definitely put gloves on first. We just gonna run that back and put these gloves on. Cause you don't touch nobody down there anywhere with no gloves on. <laughs> okay. So yes, we're gonna palpate. So I'm gonna put the kit. Just below the knees. Move my gloves. <laughs> she be taking me out. <laughs> so I'm gonna open the tray. Like that. Straighten it out. Oh no, I got, that's not one of my ear pods. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't shake. So pull it slow. Okay. Natural. <laughs> this seems so wrong. Because this goes in your sterile field. Okay. Okay. You can only touch the part that's going towards the body. Okay. Well, I just have to scoot this down a little bit. That's fine. Okay. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Overthinking. This is not sterile. It's, it's, it's all right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Touch my hand. My socks match your. Thank you. Are those compression socks? Yeah. One thing my teacher told me. My teacher told What is this? Lubricant. So this must be the same thing. Yeah. So I'm gonna reach in, take out my gloves. Oh, this is covered up, okay. Aren't you supposed to remove the box? I'm just about to say that. It's still sterile. I guess it doesn't matter. I have to. She can put on sterile gloves, but then, like, any adjustments like that that she needs to do, she can't do it. Okay. I think I went over it since I went over it, but I said that. Like, all around. Okay. 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 The scar. Make sure the catheter is fully lubricated. Stabilize. You don't bring the story with the old man. Push this in. Until I see urine. Oh, this is really, it's really not, it's really just a sterile part. Like, it's not a bad skill. I'm gonna inflate the balloon. Alright, now I'm I'm going to remove, discard, to his leg. Y'all, it's so cute! Happy Valentine's Day! It is so freaking cute, like... Okay, we just got a Berea pizza. Bow, hello. Oh, it's a heart. Oh, they did make it a heart. That's Let so me sweet. Show you. Yes, that is too cute. Um, okay, we got our pajamas on. Giving the girls real gallons. We don't have our headbands on. <laughs> okay, we back with the full uniform. Shake your head, everybody bow. Shake your head, shake your head, shake your head. Shake it. <laughs> you so I can't. <laughs> okay. Drew. Oh, oh okay. my God. Like, these are too cute. When I know you ain't no good for me. But you feel so good to me. Every time I come back, I try to leave. About to watch Daddy. Daddy's reunion. Go ahead and taste my. Taste my food right quick. I'm gonna squeeze in the middle between. Mmm. 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 It's good. Okay. <laughs> Real good. One, two, two, one. Okay, that was.
that was not a success. <laughs> Y'all cheer my fingers. <laughs> Janisha was being shady on here, y'all. She was being so effing shady. I don't even peep that. When Anna and Scotty got into it, well, they didn't really get into it, but she was like, yeah, what was the beef about? Oh, yeah, no one is if that's your nigga. Exactly. Oh, can we go okay, I'm not She's just disrespectful. She just Actually, we not gonna go through this. This Bro. is pure entertainment. Bro. <laughs> hey. She ain't got no business singing this song. Standing all on the furniture. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh, no, it's so cute. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Right into the phone next to you. That be on TikTok. I'm gonna let you show. Now, baby, cut it, cut. One thing about Drew, she don't look like the music she listens to. We having a Galentine's cause why not? Period. Oh y'all. How did I forget my lashes was pink? Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's get into the pink. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all. Y'all, we playing a game right now. Oh my gosh. And I just want to say. I just want to say, Drew is top five. Top five. And not, not five or four or three. Y'all would never two. understand how funny this girl <laughs> is because. She's only gonna show you like oh nursing like right a day in my life as a nursing student. You gotta like outside that nursing y'all. <laughs> <laughs> a day in my life as a nursing student. Mm. Um come with me to public <laughs> so I can cook some big right. shadows. Come with me to cook <laughs> shrimp in it. Go that girl can throw that all up. Yeah, who we see? Yeah, when you cook it again, like <laughs> right. Y'all, we thought, I really thought she was gonna cook tonight. No. Oh, hell no. But then Maya, okay, no. Maya was like, hungry. Maya was like, I want a burrito. What the fuck? I don't I don't know. want a burrito. Yeah. And I, I said, they got pizza. So burrito pizza. pizza. I was like, okay, period, chef. Chef boy, our Drew not cooking tonight. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> All right, y'all, T. Now it's gonna give me a second to learn how to cut this off. Which button I press? The big round one at the top. Uh. You gotta look at it now. Don't press the wrong thing. Last time that she was in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> morning, guys. So it is the next day. It's Thursday morning. It's 8.46. Um, so usually, well, what I've been doing for the past two weeks, I've been going to the gym Wednesday through Friday, like in the morning time, because those are the days I don't have class. I didn't go yesterday because we had brunch yesterday, and I really was not going to go today because I got home a little late last night. Then I was just tired, and I just said that I wasn't going to go. I don't know. I'm feeling very, like, unmotivated. I'm feeling like I don't want to do nothing. I feel like I just want to lay in bed all day and do nothing. I need to get up and get some stuff done. So, I'm going to force myself to go to the gym. I'm not going to record because I just don't feel like it. Like, I already don't want to go. So, it's like, trying to record and work out when I don't want to is just too much. So I'm probably going to talk to y'all when I'm done. But I just wanted to give y'all a little update. Feeling very much so, like, just don't want to do nothing. But I'm going to force myself to be productive. Um, I know I need to do some laundry. And I'm trying to get all this done before 3 when Quinn gets off. Because when Quinn gets off is when we're going to study. So I'm going to go to the gym. Probably come back and start laundry. I have to record a collab. Oh, God.
But I think I'm going to do it voiceover style. If you're at this part of the video, I probably added a collab into it already. But I do have to record that. I feel like the gym should ultimately make me feel better. It's just something about going to the gym and working out and moving your body that just makes you feel better. So I'm going to go try to do that. It's a lot. So I'm just going to go ahead and get on it and stop talking about it. I'm just going to go ahead and we're just going to see where the day takes us. And yeah, so I'll probably see y'all after I get home from the gym. Cause it's about to be two queen gets off at three she'll probably be ready about 3 30 i want to say ish so i haven't eaten nothing all freaking day i mean it hasn't been all day yet but like i haven't eaten nothing so i want to go to fried chicken but i was trying to see if one of my friends went to come with me but i don't know i think they're busy right now so i just feel like i probably just need to spend a little time with myself you know just do a little extra oomph on my self-care and just um wine that always makes me feel better like when i just do things that make me feel nice and girly do my little skincare light a candle clean up like i have clean sheets and comforter on the bed like oh when I come home tonight, I cannot wait to sleep in my fresh new sheets. Like, there is nothing better than sleeping in fresh new sheets. And then I have my fresh sheets candle burning. The vibe is just so sad. And I wish I could just stay in here all day. Because I'm so comfortable right now. But, child, I ain't did no studying today or yesterday. But... We're going to get back on it today. I got about an hour to get myself together. Well, I'm pretty much together. I just have to find a little outfit. It's really nice outside today. 64 degrees. I'm about to go on the balcony to see what that feels like because I haven't felt warmth in so long. And that just sounds like it's a little warm. I'm about to go ahead and put some clothes on, head on campus, and then get some fried chicken at 3. I ain't had no fried chicken since last week. <laughs> Y'all, I've been going every single week. Last week, I went by myself. But I've been going to Fried Chicken Thursday every single week. Like, I probably missed one week since school started. Like, Alright, I'm gonna see y'all later. I just got off of work not too long ago. I haven't spoke to y'all in, like, a few days i ain't spoke to y'all since thursday I was gonna come home and like do a little meal prep and cook dinner and all that stuff baby i was tired okay i was tired and i just feel like i didn't really have time because we're about to study my test is tomorrow we got to study like tomorrow's monday we're gonna do active recall we're gonna do some practice questions the learning objectives we're just gonna do everything we can do to pick our brains and get our minds right for this test at eight o'clock in the morning at that it's first thing in the morning so like right now tonight is literally our last and final 
channel only chance to study i don't know if i'm gonna end the vlog today or tomorrow i was going to it today but i was like why well, i'm gonna show y'all all the studying we doing and don't even tell y'all how the test goes so i'll probably end it tomorrow i'm not gonna do a nursing school diaries this week i'm probably just gonna do hygiene shopping so look out for a hygiene haul from me because i haven't done one of those in a while and i'm about to change season so i feel like it's the perfect time to go ahead and do my spring hygiene haul i'm gonna see y'all when it's time to study Developing understanding of what to do if a medication error is made. <laughs> I'll say the first step. You said the step. Okay. The okay. first step is you go straight to the patient to make sure that they haven't reacted with the medicine. You check their body signs and you basically just take the medicine to hold to see if their body has reacted to the medicine. Then you notify your physician. Tell them anything you found. Tell them what you gave them. Tell them what's going on with the patient. Because if you call the physician first, they're going to be like, what you calling me for? Like, you didn't even check to see. And we talked about it in that class. We talked about it in class. I remember when the girl was like, well, why wouldn't you go to the physician first? And they're going to be like, the patient okay, be dead. Dead. Why? And then you document. Yeah. Okay. Define the difference between a prescription and an order. Uh, <laughs> okay, you do one out of the Okay, a prescription is outpatient. So that's like an urgent care. You just go to a really doctor's office and you're picking up your prescription from whatever Walmart Kroger. So order. Okay. A order is inpatient. It's in a hospital. Like the doctor writes it. It looks totally different. They got a doctor's signature on there. They got the identifying doctor number. I think it's called DEA. Identify patients at risk for safety. All of them. Everybody. Everybody from infant to old person. Okay. Describe specific safety risk factors for each developmental age. <laughs> Here go your expertise. For infants, it's choking and um sleeping. Sudden so infant death syndrome. But it's mainly choking. For toddlers, is putting stuff in their mouth. You gotta watch them run like pools. For school age, it's oh, and fire keep, arms. Yeah. And keep um like cleaning supplies. Yeah. You gotta toilet proof the house. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we can go. It's school age. Mm -hmm. That's firearms. Mm -hmm. I, and I think drowning. Is it drowning for school age? I know it's firearms. I know definitely firearms. I think it could be it's drowning. Drowning. For okay. toddlers, it's just putting things in their mouth in stranger danger. Okay. And then for adolescents, we said suicide and peer pressure. Yeah. Oh, people oh, everything. Falls. <laughs> Fall, but falls, falls is, is like number one top priority. And I know medication, um, toxication too. Like, because if they don't know how to take their medicine or. Oh, yeah. I think that's a um, factor for falls too. The poly something. It's called poly. Poly pharmacy. Yeah. Yeah. That's the last one for patient safety. We did open this. Okay, period. But we need to start studying for health assessment. I mean, Pat, though. It's like, if we don't get no breaks, no breaks. So it is Monday. I just wanted to come back to close out this vlog and of course show y'all my grade. So we took our test this morning. It is 8.02 right now. I'm about to eat dinner and watch Baddies Reunion Part 2. I just wanted to come and check in with y'all right quick and then close out this vlog. So let me show y'all what I made first of all because I just threw down. I just threw down. Okay. So I made some baked chicken, broccoli, corn on the cob, and mashed potatoes. Are y'all ready for the grade? Are y'all ready? It's blurry but y'all get the gist. I don't know why my camera not focusing. Thank y'all for watching this vlog i hope y'all enjoyed it y'all have really been eating up the nursing diaries so i'm definitely going to keep them going um make sure y'all like comment and subscribe make sure you subscribe so you can know when i'm dropping the next one and turn on my post notifications i will see y'all in the next vlog stay blessed be happy and i will see y'all later